But this bacon, I mean, it smells fantastic in here. I wish you guys could smell it because, I mean, we got bacon cooking everywhere right now. I feel like I'm just inhaling calories. In today's video, we're gonna be seeing if we can cook some bacon using hair products. Welcome to our Ooh. kitchen and bathroom. Yes. <laughs> All right, if it's your first time tuning in, just a little quick, this is Grace. Hello. She's a meteorology student, and my name is Kevin Jada Bruin. I'm a former- study science. Study science. A former NASA rocket scientist, and today we're cooking bacon. With hair products. Here's the basic idea. We have some bacon and we have some hair products. We want to know if we can cook those either in a skillet, on the iron itself, or in the microwave. Now, you what usually see these in your bathroom. Kevin, do you know what this is? An iron of sorts. It is an iron of sorts. I'll give it like to you. Like a no curling iron. Yes. Flat iron or straightener. Yes, oh, good job, very it's nice. got two names. Very nice. Regular iron, mm -hmm. torture contraption. <laughs> this actually gives us super nice waves in our hair. Mm -hmm. We have some overnight curlers also, but we're actually going to put these in the microwave with our fully cooked bacon to see if we can get our fully cooked bacon to stay nice and curled. And then you brought along your manly contraptions. We got hairspray and fire. Kevin does not eat pork, so we have some nice turkey bacon for our lovely friend. Yeah, I'm allergic to pork. So, do you have a preference of which device you want to use? So, I'm thinking that this one is going to be great because it has this lock feature. So, we can close it down and lock it, and Ooh. it's going to stay locked. So all of these say hi on them, actually. Um, but Oops. what is important about all of these curling irons when we were picking them out is they all heat up to 400 degrees. And they have to heat up to 400 degrees because mm -hmm. that's the temperature that bacon cooks at. All right, so let's get these plugged in. Which one do you want to start with? I... You want to curl your turkey bacon or are you going to flat iron? I want to do this one. I want okay. flat iron. Cool. So we got to warm it up. Yep. The straightener is actually like half of this. So I'm going to like cut this in half. And then it's like that big. Yeah. This is going to be my hair straightener piece. Should we go ahead is it, and... Is it warm? Is it ready? Yeah. It's, how do it's, I know? You can feel the heat like radiating off of but it. But how do I know if it's like 400 worthy? Because it is. Because it is. Because it is. Because it is. <laughs> All right. Well, I trust Grace. She does the hair stuff. All right. So I'm going to put this in here. Oh, check it out. I'm actually going to copy you and cut my bacon also. Oh. I feel like that's too tight of a squeeze, so we're gonna use this clamp. I brought two just in case. So timer's going. And I'm gonna stick this one right in here. So we it's can a get big some. old fat piece. Oh, okay, so you cut yours as well to yep. fit it in there. Yeah, I just wanted to make them nice and wavy, so give them a nice clamp, and then I'm gonna lock mine. You should put mine. that on a plate. I know. I kind of left the fat on mine hanging out, so I'm gonna trim that off using scissors while it cooks. It's got a lot more surface area. Mm -hmm. Attachment. I mean, mine is like squished. You can still see the little sizzle inside. It's like sizzles. All right, and so we do have the iron. Now, with the iron, we can like press it onto something. Yeah. Which we would need a, a skillet or a pan. I say we take another pan out and we plug this thing in and get it going. While this heats up, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap some of this yeah, pre-cooked bacon around our curling irons. Do you wanna do one and I'll do one? Sure, I'm gonna take pink. Okay, so we're putting <laughs> them on the, the glass plate, throw yep. them in the microwave. Yeah, I think while our iron heats up, why don't we just go ahead and give it a try? Five to 10 seconds. <laughs> So, no change, but they are definitely cooked. I mean, it's kind of what we expected. But I'll be interested to see after we pull them off if they're... They remain curly. curly. So I'm gonna let them cool for just a minute because I really want them to stay curly and I feel like if we pull them off too soon that they will not stay curly because that's the same thing that happens with your hair. If you curl it and then you don't let the curl rest and cool in your hand, then your curl falls way faster. Okay, so these have cooled off significantly um, and we're gonna take that cap off and see if we can unwind our bacon here. Hey! It's staying curly. Check it out! Look at that! It's like the actual pig's tail. Literally! Everyone out there that does brunch for your families, 
impress everyone with curly bacon instead of the normal bacon. That's pretty legit. Yeah. It's been 10 minutes, so you need about 10-ish minutes to, to cook bacon on a skillet is the estimate. So we can check these out. So let's do that. Let's unclip him. At least this one. Let me open it. Ooh. Oh, I was not expecting that. There's no more bacon. I literally fried off the bacon. <laughs> oh my. Can you like even, oh. You can take it off. That's oh. the remnants of the bacon. You have to try it. Well, I'll eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be yummy. So. It's like really burnt bacon. All right, I'm pumped mm -hmm. about. Let's check out the wavy. About this one, the waves. Nice. Oh, those are some crispers. Definitely kept the shape. It did. Because it's so crispy. Wow. Nice. Like, that looks cool. It looks super cool. It's just super burnt bacon for me, though. I would never eat that. Tastes like bacon. Yeah. Well, it is bacon. Wow. But it's good. It's got the good crunch. Yeah. Holds well. This would be delicious crunched up in my... In your salads. Mm-hmm. So... We've got two more like long duration ones, right? We've got mm -hmm. the iron on this one and then the curling iron has been in the back. So wrap that one up first since it's in the back and then we'll come over here and do the actual bacon on the iron. Move this bacon and let it do its thing. We have it on the highest time. I think we're gonna have good results. So I put another piece of bacon on the straightener here and it's been on for like two minutes. Just, I got the, the timer right down there and it's actually looking done. So I think I'm gonna peel this one off and that is what I will consider cooked bacon on the straightener. We've got the iron and I'm just gonna put it on here. Just stamp it. So now we're in the laundry room. Yeah. So timer's at about two minutes and 50 seconds and it's sticking. So it's kind of cooked. That actually could be, could be well. So that's one minute. I'm gonna one put, minute? One minute. I'm gonna put it on a little bit longer. Dang. I want to make sure it gets up the temp and then we'll move it over to the, the regular bacon. I wish that you were here in the studio with us because it was just an aroma of bacon. So now it's been almost two minutes. So I'm gonna <laughs> just, just sticks there. It's kind of hot, Grace. That's okay. Peel it. Oh. Okay, we'll just, so I think we can call that like cooked. Can't necessarily real. say that looks appetizing to me. I mean, it doesn't look like normal bacon but I'll eat it. Do you want to do the honors to place this on the, yeah. the bacon? Give it a good old steam roll. Stomp. We're still stuck. I think we need to give it a good flip. What's interesting here is like some of the bacon looks like it's cooking and some of it's not. Well, what's interesting about curling irons is the hottest part of the barrel is actually the center. Oh. Because that is where your hair is the thickest and it takes the longest to curl. Your ends curl the fastest, which is the part that clips it. And the middle of your hair it takes the longest to curl because it has to hold the most weight. Shall we check this bacon? Let's, let's look at the bacon <laughs> under the iron now. It's just is so that, greasy. Is that graceable? No, not yet. No. All right. Well, while that's going, guys, since we got more time to wait, we're still waiting in the curling iron. Let's let's play with fire. Let's do it. I am so here for it. Here, we'll move this guy back yonder. Three, two, one. So I pulled the iron off. There's a substantial amount of grease and that crispy. is our bacon. It's pretty good. I mean, I definitely don't think I want to eat it, but it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I'd give it like a five out of 10. The fire, it was like 10 seconds and we got a little bit of crispiness here on the end, right? So a little bit here and there, but you don't want to eat this bacon for sure. And as a safety precaution, don't do this inside. Do not do this inside. Make we... sure you're in a well-vented area, do it outside. I'm not telling you to do this at home, don't do it, but we should have done this part outside. Can't say it smelled great and definitely was not good for our lungs. No, I coughed a little bit, I can still feel a little tingling in my nose. Yikes. Because, so this is bad stuff, right? Like one of the main ingredients, the second one here is a hydrofluorocarbon. Hydrofluorocarbon is a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse so, gases are not good for the atmosphere. We don't like them. If you don't have to use hairspray, don't use it. All right, so I think we're mm -hmm. rounding it out. I mean, we've got a couple more bacon pieces cooking over here. We've got our curling iron piece. I really oh. think it's almost done. I think this is great. It looks now. really good. I mean, it's nice and crispy to the touch. I say we pull it off. 
nice slow peel. Mm -hmm. so your crispy bacon is just difficult to get off of these hair it, products. It just it kind of is. Don't break the bacon. I'm really trying not to. But it's still pretty curly. It is. I'm impressed, to say the least. Okay, so we have done everything. We've done the flat iron, the curling iron, the wave oh, iron, the actual iron, and the blowtorch. So let's put them next to each other and do a comparison. For sure, let's right. check it out. Yeah. We got our iron, not too bad. Not too shabby. We got our wavy, we got some good shapes. Gonna be honest here, the wavies turned out way better than I was expecting them to. I thought they would just kind of like fall apart, but they held their structure. Yeah, then we got the flat iron or the straightener. Which had a little bit of trouble with. Yeah, but you can easily burn it in that <laughs> one. And then the pre-cooked bacon on the hair curlers, the perma bacon. In the microwave. And the hair curler bacon. And then lastly, we got our hairspray, blowtorch bacon, pork and turkey, which you see a little bit on the edges. So don't eat the hairspray bacon. Zero out of 10. The rest of these are probably edible, I would say. Like Absolutely. safely. I would say give it a try. What would you choose? So I think for ease, the iron itself. Just flat iron, put it on there. If you have an iron without holes, I think those ones would be the easiest if you're just looking to cook bacon, like in a hotel room, you can do that. Yeah, personally, if I was going to a breakfast place and they put some bacon on my plate that looked like this and was nice and curly and had that as my bacon or some pretty arched bacon, like how cool would that be if you had that bacon over some French toast? Like that yeah. would be so cool and drizzled maple syrup on top of it. I think that would be the way that I go. Well, let us know in the comments if there's anything else you want us to do with bacon or curling irons, because we have a plethora now. Bunch of hair tools. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there and you check out the rest of our videos on the channel. Yummy.